that doctor pretty much told us, you know, your son is going to be a burden on your family. Put him in a home. You've already got one kid. He's okay. This one has cerebral palsy. Like, he's going to be a vegetable. He's going to be in a wheelchair the rest of his life. He'll never leave your house. Put him in a home. When we found out we were having another little boy, they are so close in age. They were supposed to be biking and fishing together. But what Connor did for Caden and that one little choice to do a race on a weekend, it changed them. It changed. My name's Connor and my brother's name is Caden and we raced together in track once. For most young boys like Connor Long, the bonds of childhood are formed outdoors, playing together. But Connor's six-year-old brother Caden has been relegated to the sidelines for most of his life. Then an idea born out of a desire to connect with Caden. To become not just brothers or even playmates, but teammates competing together in triathlons. When I see him smiling and laughing, that means he's having a good time. And though they would finish last, they finished together as one. He's really excited before the race. He stays up to like one or two in the morning. But after that, he falls asleep in the cart. This is our kitchen. We usually have this type of breakfast on the weekends. I it's cook, kind I of our eggs. Eggs. Yeah, they cook Mommy. eggs and stuff. So, eat it right there. The one thing that makes me really mad is when people walk down the road and say of uh, the R word, if you know what that is. I just tell them that like, it doesn't matter what he looks like on the outside, it's matter what's on the inside. And he still has regular feelings like we do. And he understands what you say about him. If people could race with people that can't walk or talk or have any kind of autism, it might open eyes of people that don't really care about it and maybe the people that don't care in the past will care in the future and actually do it with somebody. Ten years from now, the perfect place for me and Kaden would be, like you know how people have the American flag on the moon? We'll have the Team Long Brothers flag on the moon. Please join me in welcoming to the stage the winners of the 2012 Sports Illustrated Kids Sports Kid of the Year contest, joined by their parents, Connor and Caden Long. Hello, everybody. This is really awesome for me and Caden to do this because we've been waiting for a very long time. And a lot of people think that we would never be able to do something like this, but we can always do anything. Um, that, that, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. Connor and Caden are the real sportsmen of the years. They label it as sports kids. Nah, they're, they're the real sportsmen of the year. That, that story right there is, um, it had, if it didn't go off soon, it would have had me in tears. You guys are definitely coming down to Miami to see a game, to meet our team. You guys are unbelievable. And what you do for your brother um, is unbelievable. I got two sons, eight and five. Um, so they will be seeing that story. Um, I don't have to preach anymore because what you do, I can just show that in my older son and know what he should do for his younger brother.